Taurus, hi, it's Lisa here from What's a Name Tarot. I'm here to do your monthly reading for August 2023. These are general readings only, so just take with you what resonates. Check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, any number synchronicities that may occur, and cross watches are welcome. Saying to everyone, August already, unbelievable. Right, Taurus. So August 2023. Clear messages from Spirit, please, for Taurus. Ace of Wands overall, um, focusing on a new chapter here, but there may be a bit of a hold up in the process. I do say it's like waiting for an apology that may never ever arrive. Um, and it's kind of holding the process up at the moment, I'm going to say. I do clarify everything shortly, but this is about starting to see a different direction, starting to have some sort of new focus here that takes that away. Present energies, Seven of Swords, um, possibly the target of gossip and backstabbing here, but I feel like this deceptive energy, this is where you're picking up what works for you and being able to move forward. It is crossed with the universe, and I feel like that is just saying enough is enough. And um, this is about now taking action to get things moving in a forward direction. Now is the moment to do so which may also mean releasing this. Um, I'm still going to come to a grudge here because it just seems that that seems to be what the hold up is of getting things moving smoothly. Um, you'll see with the underlying reading, I do clarify everything shortly, but um, strength area, Taurus, Princess of Swords reversed. And this is why it's reversed, feeling like you're stuck in this situation here. Um, this talks about bring it on, the next journey, bring this next chapter on, you're ready for this, but being reversed, I feel like you're feeling stuck in a rut um, at the moment for whatever reason. Focus area, five of pentacles, um, it is upright, possibly you have been left ghosted, blocked, no explanation at all, or left out in the cold, um, you know, like you're at work and everybody says, oh, we're going to do drinks after work, and it's like, but you're not invited or something like that, but some feeling like left out of a situation and feel like this is about starting to take action to get moving forward to warmer energy, something more pleasant. It still may be coming around this Ace of Wands that that is the roadblock. Recent past, Five of Cups, it is reversed in the past. Starting to move forward from some sort of emotional loss, grief, sadness. I do always say don't let others tell you to hurry up and move on. But I feel like whatever this whole situation involves, um, you're starting to become a lot more aware that, I'm going to say it, that you need to take that first step yourself and not wait for somebody else to grab your hand and, and push you forward or something like that. Incoming energies is the Empress. Being aware, um, you know, what's going on around you, the good, the bad, the ugly, I say. <laughs> like, is that the movie? Is that a movie, isn't it? Um, but the Empress, that intuition is kicking into gear and it's telling you possibly that apology is never going to arrive, and this is now having that um, intuitive perception of why has this been holding me up, and and working with that, and that starts the ball rolling. What you need to know: Six of Pentacles, equal give and take, balance. If there is um, another person involved here, partnership, it is about equal give and take. Like if you're doing all the giving, someone else is doing all the taking. I've always got to say that. This is balancing things out, making sure some sort of partnership is a bit of both coming together here. How others see you: Ace of Pentacles reversed not able to get this new beginning underway, possibly because they see what this is over here. So a bit of clarification to do, Taurus. I hope not clicked off yet. 
um, hopes and fears, six of cups, it is reversed. I feel like this is a past that hasn't been so fond, but now that that's reversed, this is talking about starting to release the past and now focus on this journey ahead. Because even though your final outcome, Eight of Swords reversed, we talked about roadblocks, that feels it's like it's still there and it's still coming back to this whole Ace of Wands. And this is about then finding those other ways around things, legally and morally, to get the next stage of the journey underway so you're not stuck stuck in a rut and stuck back in here. But because that is reversed, it is still a roadblock that does need to be overcome. Wow, Taurus. Holy moly, let's clarify. Maybe around work, I feel, um, for some of you. So situation around your job. But we will clarify. Ace of Wands overall for the month. Let's just about throw them everywhere to start with. Justice. Three of Cups. <laughs> well, and the Moon. <laughs> I hope you are still watching. <laughs> May have connection to Pisces or Libra here. I feel like this moon is actually, I'm going to say, doing its damnedest to show you very clearly um, what your hold up is and, and how to work through that. To come out of this with your sweet justice, with your favourable outcome, good karma, but something worth celebrating. And I feel like that moon is giving you the clarity to see this doesn't have to be all that you're stuck and focused on because there's so much more out there that is ready to be claimed. Wow. Present energy, seven of swords, five of wands, five of cups, holy moly, and the knight of swords. It is about not rushing into things. You need to work through this whole situation but be done once and for all. And it's the emotional sadness, the drama, the jealousy, the conflict, and being able to walk away with your head held high and be able to walk away in your own time once you've worked through the whole emotional process that this, I'm going to say, that this drama has brought in. Cross with the universe, upright, three of pentacles, knight of pentacles, the devil. This could be an addiction of some sort, whether it's within, whether it's somebody close to you. There is this negative, toxic and unhealthy energy that you do feel stuck and bound to. It may be a tough life lesson that you are having to go through. It's taken a hell of a long time to break free of that. But I feel like that is what is happening with the Three of Pentacles coming on board. Somebody's on board here as a partnership, working together, um, maybe around love, around work, around home. But now is the moment to bring somebody in on the journey and to help ease this energy that's trying its damnedest to be the roadblock that it is at the moment being. Wow. Princess of Swords, Strength area. It is reversed, Princess of Swords. Six of Wands, Four of Wands, Two of Wands. Love that. May have connection to an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But there you go, focusing on your dreams and your goals. Taking the time to step back and to focus on where you are heading. Do you want to be stuck in this situation or do you want things to start to move in a forward direction to bring you stability, to bring you commitment around home and family life and claim that victory. And that victory just may be the whole um, light bulb in your head moment of, oh, I don't need to be stuck in here, stuck it like this. Okay, so focus area, five of pentacles, death. Queen of Cups, the Hierophant. May have connection to Scorpio or another Taurus here, but being able to close the past chapter off. And I feel like for some of you, this is, I always say that the chapter, I was like putting the whole book back on the shelf and selecting a whole different book, not letting the peer pressure get to you. I feel like you've started to move forward to warmer energy, but it's almost like straight away, um, 
this energy comes in and tries to put that roadblock back in front of you again. And as I said, it could be an addiction, it could be this negative toxic energy, but this is about um, looking back and seeing how far you've come emotionally and knowing that you are still standing and you are still able to get things moving in a direction that's right for you. Tough reading, Taurus. Recent past, Five of Cups reversed. The Magician, Princess of Cups, the Hermit. Yeah, in the past I feel like you did some soul searching, you did some contemplation here, um, started to create the magic um, of what it would be like to be out of this situation and it's taken a bit to work through that because that is still happening here but this is now somebody coming on board with this offer of love um, whether it's love love whether it's a job you love a home you love but just this whole offer of somebody coming in on board to ease the journey and to um, start to get things moving in a direction that works best for you the Empress, love that this is upright, incoming energies, because you are starting to become very aware of what it is that's holding you back and getting things um, in a different direction here. The Empress, Five of Swords, the Tower, the Wheel of Fortune. Glad it came out in that order, but here where you have felt like you're banging your head against a brick wall time and time again, I say getting nothing but one hell of a headache. Walking away from that battle is your victory, and I feel like that is your tower moment. You are well and truly ready to release all of this that you're caught up and stuck in, and to get this Wheel of Fortune moving in your favour. Good luck, good fortune, bigger and better things, I do say hopefully for all of you, but I feel like it's that intuition, that gut instinct is telling you, you know, you keep banging your head against a brick wall, this is what it is here. And now this is a moment to turn that around and get this Wheel of Fortune in motion. What you need to know, Six of Pentacles, the Star, Eight of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. I feel like I was going to have a coughing fit. Um, may have connection to an Aquarius here, your dreams, your wishes, your hopes. We're talking about the balance and alignment, this is now some sort of partnership where the communication needs to be open, honest, flowing, um, and everyone on the same page here to get this new chapter underway. There is a successful new beginning that's happening here that does start the journey towards your dreams, towards your wishes, and um, getting these to become achievable. But I feel it's this partnership that's come on board that is also the communication that needs to be out there in the open. How others see you, Ace of Pentacles reversed. The world, five of pentacles, eight of pentacles. This new beginning, it wasn't able to get off the ground until you'd worked through this whole feeling left out in the cold energy, holding the grudges we mentioned. But now the hard work, the focus has been put on here to get things moving towards something a lot more warmer, a lot more pleasant, towards your bigger and better things. But that world, it's had you caught up in this to allow the time to sit back and to focus on what to take with you on this journey and what to leave behind. And as that um, is made, and it's leaving this grudge behind, I keep coming back to that, I'm really sorry Taurus, but um, this has now been able to focus on getting things to a better place. Hopes and fears, Six of Cups reverse. Ace of Cups, Princess of Wands, Temperance. May have connection to Sagittarius here. New chapter, new beginning when it comes to love, a job you love, a home you love, or love love. Um, there is somebody on board here with you and you are willing to share your ideas and your dreams now and to get things moving in that forward direction. No matter how slow it starts off, no matter how fast it starts off, especially like if it's a dam that's been built up, the energy's building and building and building, and then 
boom, it's like I always say, like white water rafting. This is about going with the flow. Things do settle settle down, and um, this is about then still going with the flow and not forcing the issue to get something happening quicker than it should. Start the new beginning and start it solidly. Final outcome, Eight of Swords reversed. Six of Cups, Four of Cups, King of Swords. Using your head over your heart, very logical, very level-headed, and I'm going to be really mean here, Taurus. It's about knowing that that apology may never arrive, so what is it that you are still hanging on to with that? This is now having that whole new focus, getting all this clarity. That's your sweet justice. That's something to celebrate. And it is um, being very logical and taking action to leave the past in the past because it's taken up enough of your time, enough of your focus, enough of your energy because you've been quite stubbornly stuck on that one cup. And it's been that roadblock that's holding the whole process up. Oh, it sounds like a mean reading, Taurus. But let's see what the universe says to finish. Eight of Cups reversed. Queen of Wands upright. The Hanged One upright. Yeah, I feel like there's only enough waiting around and hanging around um, that you are willing to do actually and it's been holding you up from being able to emotionally detach from what it is I'm still going to say who it is that you've been waiting for this apology with and enough hanging around I feel like now you've started to focus on what you want who you want where you want to be and you realize that it's not stuck in that situation and that there is more bigger and better things out there to come and that's where this decision is able to be made wow so Taurus love that though um, if it does resonate the whole process of seeing how that does start to get things moving towards those bigger and better things do hope it helped thanks for watching and I will see you all next time see ya bye